train must have come through here. Must. Because I see its tracks. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the channel RVN and ATVN, and I'm Dave. In this video, we're going to highlight and maybe do a short review of the trails around Germfast, Michigan. It's going to be kind of short because we lost a GoPro out on the trails on our last day riding. So if you've been riding between Germfast and Newberry, you happen to find a gray GoPro, uh, put it in the comments below and see if we can get it back. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Germfask is really a small remote town in the center of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. We were able to ride right out of the campground. You do have to do a little bit of road riding to get to the trails though. And I should point out that Michigan requires two permits to ride. One to ride the roads and one for the trails. The road license is $26.25 and the trail permit is $10. And they're valid for one year which begins April 1st and ends the following year on March 31st. Also trail maps are available online. Once you find the trail entrances you can go in a few different directions. On day one we took a left towards Senny. The trails were mostly sand and more out in the open. The terrain is pretty flat but there's still some great scenery and you really are out in the middle of nowhere. And then we rode into Senny. I don't think you'd really call it a town, pretty much some houses and buildings. They did have a gas station though, so if you need to fill up or grab some food and drinks and ice, you're good to go. The trail passes on around the gas station and into a little bit of woods riding. We rode out a couple more hours and then it looked like it was going to storm. Sky, she look angry. So we headed back to camp. We probably rode about 60 miles, so we had a pretty nice ride for one day. Day two was perfect riding weather. We hit the road and headed back to the trails. We went the opposite way towards Newberry. These trails took us through more woods than day one. A little more dirt and mud too. We came out into an open sandy area and it looked like a good place to take a break. We got back on the trail and headed to Newberry. We found out that Newberry is the moose capital of Michigan, but we saw no moose. We made a pit stop at a gas station, then headed to McMillan and the back toward camp. Along the way we came up to an awesome creek. We pulled over and let the boys take a swim. Now let's load up and head back to camp. All in all, we spent two and a half days riding, and there's a lot we didn't cover. We chose Germfask and Newberry because we wanted to be close to other sites we wanted to explore. So what's our take on the trails around the Germfask area? We like them. Although it's a pretty flat terrain, we enjoy that. Not real crazy about the road riding to get to the trails, about seven miles or so, but at least we could ride from camp. We were able to access small towns, which if you need gas, that's huge. We're going to go ahead and rate these trails at two white dogs. I'm Dave, and for Sharon, Mo, and Charlie, as always, thanks for watching.